In these problems, we have some integers, some whole numbers with uh, what we're calling rational exponents. So our exponents are in the form of fractions. And the thing you need to know about these is that you raise to the power of the number on top, and you take the root of the number on the bottom of your fractional exponent. So this would be 32 to the third power, and then the fifth root of that. And sometimes it's easier to do the root first and the power second. Sometimes it's easier to do the power first to the root second. If you've got a calculator, it probably shouldn't be too hard. But it is good to know how to raise things to powers and take roots uh, on your calculator. So I've got just the Windows 10 calculator up here. And you'll notice there's this x to the y button here. So that's how to take a power. If I wanted to take 32 to the third power, I could push 32 and then x to the y and then 3. And I get this, 32,768. And then if I wanted to take the fifth root of that, I would press uh, the inverse. Actually, it's this little arrow key um, giving us the inverse functions. And now I have the y root of x. So I've got my number up here. So I can just press uh, the y root of x key, and then the fifth root, and I get 8. Now, you may be know already that it might have been easier to do that in the opposite direction. The fifth root of 32 is 2, and then 2 to the third power is 8. And that might be a way where you could probably do it without a calculator if you knew that. But sometimes you know those things, sometimes you don't know those things. Let's try a couple more for practice. So uh, we've got our power up here and our root here. This is 16. Uh, to the third power and the fourth root. Uh, the fourth root of 16, that's one I know off the top of my head. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. So the fourth root of 16 is 2. So we'd take that to the third power and we'd get 8. If you're not sure about that or you wanted to do it in the other direction, you could just take 16. You could raise it to the third power and then you could take the fourth root of that and you get 8. All right, let's try one more. We have 125 to the 2 thirds power. And this is another one of those where I, I recognize 125 as 25 times 5. So that's 5 times 5 times 5. So that's 5 to the third power. If I take the third root of that, I would get just 5. And then here's the power. I would square that, and I'd get 25. If you didn't recognize that uh, you could take the third root of 125 easily, you can just take 125 and square it first. So y to the x2, and then take the third root of that. So y root of that, third root, and we get 25. So that is some work with rational exponents.